This video is not about gaming, but you might find it useful for daily computing. Ever want to upgrade your old hard drive or SSD to a newer, bigger, and faster one without losing anything? This time I will show you how to do it. Let's get started. This video is supported by Minitool a company that has a various disk and data-oriented software. To be honest, I'm a big fan of them because their products are reliable and trustworthy. And in this project, I will show you how I clone my 5-year-old Samsung 850 FO Windows 10 boot drive SSD to a newer Samsung 970 FO Plus NVMe SSD using the Minitool Partition Wizard and the Minitool Shadow Maker, so you can compare which tool is the best for you. For those who want to try the mini tool partition wizard, you can go directly to their website and download the free edition. Please be aware that you cannot clone the system disk with the free edition. As the name suggests, use this tool if you want to play with these partitions. And not only partitions, but you can also do the data recovery, copying disk, and many more. So for me, it is the best and complete disk utility. Now run the mini tool partition wizard. As you open the partition wizard, you will see all the drives on your computer. The boot drive or the system drive is on this one, and the target drive is on this 5. Now I want to clone this one to this 5. Right click the this one, then choose copy. Next is to select the target drive. In my case, it is this 5. Press next to continue. You can choose to fit the partitions to the entire disk or leave it as is. I chose fit partitions. Press next to continue. Then press finish. To confirm the operation, you will need to press the apply button. This process will take some time to finish. So get back, relax, and enjoy your time. And after some time, the copying process was completed. You will have to boot into the BIOS settings and set up the boot drive to this 5. I assume you already know how to do it. If you don't have the mini tool partition wizard, you can try to download the mini tool shadow maker. This tool is more about data protection and this backup, so you cannot modify these partitions, but you can achieve the same thing if you want to clone any disk. Run the mini tool shadow maker. On the home screen, select Tools. Then select Clone Disk. Select the source disk. For me, it is this one. Click Finish. By the way, Minitool should name this button Confirm or Select, not Finish. I think it's weird. Now select the target disk. For me, it is this 5. Again, select Finish. Then press OK. And select Yes. The cloning process will begin right away. And again, it will take some time to complete. And you will be prompted with this notification. So I restarted the computer and repeatedly hit the delete button to go into the BIOS settings and set the boot disk to the new drive. And the computer booted normally. So in the end, it's up to you to choose either the mini tool partition wizard or the shadow maker. If you play a lot with this partitioning, formatting, and other operation, choose the mini tool partition wizard. But if you are more into this backup, select the shadow maker. But if you love both of them, play them all together. You won't go wrong with mini tool. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks to mini tool, and see you guys later.